Let me give you an idea of what it looks like if I were to take and hammer on a spindle. Now this is a replication of what it would look like. But we're going to take a piece of hardened steel and a ball and a hammer. And I'm going to touch that, not with a hammer, not real hard, but hard enough where I want you to take a good look at it and see what it does to that steel. Now think about this. If you're doing that to a spindle and you're hammering on, the, on a wrench to tighten it, you're doing the same thing to the bearings, folks. You're going to ruin it. So it's not something you can do. And by the way, in case you think you're just going to take it uh, apart yourself and rebuild it, there's a huge learning curve and I don't recommend it. Now some of you might be able to do it, but uh, that's a rarity and you could end up spending twice as much downtime and twice the cost by the time you buy the bearings a second or third time. So, Jim, if you can get a close-up of this, I want to show the folks what it looks like after I hit this with a hammer. All right, there we go. Now, I can see a mark in there. Jim, if you can get up here close enough. So you've seen it live. That's what can happen to the bearings of your machine or your spindle when you hammer on it. 